I feel like it is fine. So I feel like I have to make a video and talk about some of my findings. <laughs> uh, yes. So it seems like 10 years from now there is going to be a, a apocalyptic event. Uh, solar flash, or well, I guess that's what they're calling it, but yeah, some kind of solar event, solar event, which is uh, going to, uh, one of the things it's going to do is going to shift yes so this is going to it's a uh, cataclysmic event that's going to um, well it's going to like move and and turn to the equator uh, lots of people are gonna die it seems like billions two billion oh, I don't know I'll just say billions will die millions more will be displaced uh, uh, electronics will be fried, power gone, uh, may take a thousand years for humanity to get back to a uh, more healthy technological state but apparently this is not just a physical thing it uh, has spiritual implications uh, it seems like what the sun does has an impact on our consciousness this is an opportunity for humanity to shift from third 3D to 4D. <laughs> uh, this is like a level of consciousness. So we're stuck in the 3D uh, realm now where, you know, our perception is focused on 3D, but if we go to the next level, I think the implication is that you know it's shifting consciousness to a higher uh, density or something. Um, so what we can do is uh, yes, like. Earth is a prison planet. I mean, I've heard that phrase. Earth is a prison um, There is a battle for timelines between uh, good and bad forces um, so this is all related to the ufo phenomenon uh, it's all 
um, once you accept that UFOs are real, then all of this starts to, you know, once you accept, yep, UFOs are real, and, you know, aliens, and it's, it all starts unraveling, the whole secret starts falling apart, and so this involves ET, extraterrestrials, time travelers, uh, secret societies like the, you know, Illuminati, <laughs> yeah, uh, secret, uh, secret space program, um, deep state, um, yeah, yeah, there are bases on the moon. Uh, deep underground uh, bases. Uh, breakaway civilization. Uh, you know the anyway. Yes, the Nazis. There was a fourth right. If the Nazis fled to Antarctica, they... I mean, it seems like... I mean... This is... Anyway, uh, the information, all of this is like... Uh, some of my sources... Uh, um, um, I don't know if I want to call them sources or base of information. Let me just. I mean, like I could have. I don't know if I want to go. Uh, this website has some good information. Yes, the Y files, they have good information. Uh, yes, it has a good I actually have ordered quite a quite a few of uh, his books. Sorry, I have to and, well, everything is connected. It's not just it's the it's not just a physical universe, it's a spiritual it's as well. It's not just a physical Thing. Where are Um, all right, well, okay, this is another uh, page to get good information. <sighs> so, um, that's a movies as well. Called the cosmic secret, but you can get this. I think it's free to watch, but I got mine on iTunes. It's called the cosmic secret. Uh, sure. Anyway, it's called the cosmic secret. Um. So yes. Um. Things are gonna be really bad for the next. Um. So what do you do? What to do? What to do? Uh, work on your inner self. Uh, my 
my my my sort of uh, my view is to find inner peace. Everything is not um be a good person because uh, you're gonna be stuck in a karmic karmic cycle. Uh, this life is an opportunity to learn and grow spiritually, 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 grow. So take each life as an opportunity to learn and to grow spiritually. Uh, spread, spread our message, like this message, awareness. So people uh, can free themselves, free themselves from this uh, matrix, <laughs> uh, this, uh, promote uh, disclosure of UFOs and Anything else? Because once once you accept that UFOs are real and, and aliens and all that, then you can. Uh, I mean, there's a whole history that's been hidden from us. There's a whole history. I mean, uh, what I'm saying is, when you get people to, uh, I mean, a lot of people are coming to read this realization anyway because of all the information we're getting i mean that's how i learned about this because once i heard about that hearing on july 26 and i, I don't know i just i just became i just obsessively even now consuming a lot of information and uh, i just want to share this image i feel like i have to share it because uh, the reason you want to promote disclosure is so uh, you know, so free people for uh, anyway yeah so share the knowledge so that's the thing the truth can set you free It's not about physical survival, though. Uh, you know, if, if people can try and. Yeah. Um, yep, we are. Uh, a lot of humanity is living in like a you know the the truth's been hidden from them. And, you know these uh, ETs, they can. Uh, can manipulate your consciousness. Now we are, uh, we humans are biological machines. Really, we're just biological machines. Even the DNA uh, contains code to create our consciousness. You know. So these, some of these ETs are very um, advanced in their understanding of uh, the universe and, you know, I think a lot of them probably had a lot to do with our creation, so, uh, so they know a lot. Um, mm. Now, is all of this going to be real? Uh, I mean, there are. I mean, all these sources I've shown. I mean, you have to do your own research, and I'm still learning. So I'm still learning. I'm still like. But to me, this seems like it's a possibility, and there's like a. You know, I guess you should you know, watch videos or, I don't know, read things. I still, I'm still like at the beginning of this. <laughs> there is so much information on this. Man. Oh, so much information. 
And people are still stuck on the UFO question. <laughs> you have to go beyond that, though. Once you accept UFOs are real, what is the what is the what are the implications? What else is real? What else has been hidden? You know, what else are they hiding from us? <laughs>